Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out purple shampoo on my newly dyed blonde hair. So yes, obviously I am blonde. I finally feel like I'm at the color that I want to be. The only thing right now is that if you look at the shade that my ends are here, it's obviously a bit more yellow. The top got more to that like white blonde that I was really looking for and then my roots are peach because why not? So um, yes, I definitely do need to tone this but it's been about a week now since I got my hair dyed and I am ready to wash it for the first time. So um, the hairstylist recommendation was to just use it on the bottom parts here um, to tone that up and I'm, um, yeah, I'm definitely excited to see how we can switcheroo, make this look better. So <laughs> I have a couple of products. My friend Carrie, who's been blonde for years from Brunette, recommended this purple shampoo. Um, so I just ordered it off Amazon. It's called a bold, unique purple shampoo for blonde, platinum and gray slash silver hair. And she said this is literally the best thing that she's ever used and always makes her hair look like toned and beautiful and icy. So we're going to find out if that's going to happen for us today. I did buy originally like some blonde purple shampoo um, from this one brand I'm going to show you. So when I first like got my hair dyed back in November and it was that ugly color, I bought Not Your Mother's Blonde Moment, um, which is a purple treatment shampoo. And it says, brass reducing, shine enhancing purple shampoo with rich violet pigments. Ah, only use one to two times a week in place of regular shampoo. Lather and work into wet hair, rinse thoroughly. Follow with blonde moment conditioner. So the conditioner is safe for daily use. I totally like did not read this. I realized now I was like, oh, I was definitely trying to use this purple shampoo more often than I should have. Interesting, interesting. What I did also learn is that you cannot use purple shampoo more than like once a week because your hair will start to fall off, which is like something I never knew, which I feel like that's weird. I never knew that. I feel like I should know that. I mean, now obviously I know that, but I literally only know that because the girl at Ulta was like telling me a story, tale of her life where she accidentally used like purple shampoo every day when she first dyed her hair and then some of her hair fell off. And then she had to cut it all off and like have a, a mullet hairstyle. So we're not going to do that. So obviously I haven't like even touched my hair. It's been a week, which is crazy because normally like my hair probably gets greasy in like two days. I know you're not supposed to wash your hair very often. I've tried a lot of different things. I have like a very wavy texture to my hair. When it air dries, like it gets a little bit wild. Yeah, we're going to see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I hope that this works. I hope that it tones it. It should. Um, definitely when I use this purple shampoo on like my very orange hair, I didn't do anything, but that's because it couldn't have been, it couldn't have been saved. It wasn't, when it was like toned in the salon, she literally was like putting like brown hair dye on top of it to make it look less insanely brassy. Um, but now I should be able to, to kind of take care of this on my own from here on out because it's permanently bleached color, which is great. And then another product that I'm going to use is... Amika the Cure, also recommended to me by my friend Carrie, who has all the recommendations for blonde hair color. So this is an intense repair mask um, that you can use, I think as much as you want really, but basically you can leave it on for like 10 minutes. So I will definitely be doing this once a week. I'm still kind of waiting to see how often I'm gonna wash my hair. It kind of depends on how much like with working out and stuff. Usually I like to work out really early in the mornings. Because of that, I've always had to kind of like wash my hair at least like every two days. And then one last product here that I also was told to use is this Privana leave-in hair treatment. It's intense therapy. Pre Provana, excuse me. Here's what I'm going to do in the shower. We'll be starting with the purple shampoo, mostly just on the ends here. And this color up top um, is definitely going to fade. It's just like for fun. And then we can do so many different fun hair colors. I'm so excited. I'll also do like polls on Instagram so you guys can vote on what my next hair color is going to be. That'll be so much fun. Then I'm going to do the 10 minute leave in hair therapy mask, which I'm very excited about. And last, I'm going to spritz it up with this guy. I'm going to blow dry it with a heat protective spray and we're going to see what it looks like. So 
these are our before shots you guys this is the yellowness you can really see like right where the kind of the cutoff is you can see where it goes from more of that soft blonde into just a bit like more yellow like it's not I don't think it's that bad it definitely can be fixed with the shampoo it's definitely light enough so I'm excited I think that this is gonna turn out really really good and we're just gonna give it a little bit more life welcome to my dark dark bathroom <laughs> so exciting um I am opening up this box here and inside we have a purple shampoo bottle and then there are a couple of different things um, in here too. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys this. So it says, you got to read this. And I think this is cool. So it's kind of giving you a step-by-step -step of how to wash your hair here. So it says here, wash your hair, step one. To get the best results, it's important to always use unclean hair. So begin by washing your hair with your regular shampoo to remove any product buildup. This gives the bold, unique purple shampoo the best chance to do its job. Pre-shampooing will also open up your hair cuticles, allowing the powerful pigments to work faster and better. That's very interesting. I was not going to do that. <laughs> Step two, do a strand test. I don't know if I'm going to do this. I'm pretty lazy. You've got your hands on one of the most powerful purple shampoos in the universe Holy. For that reason, we always recommend carrying out a strand test on the underside of your hair first. Everyone's hair is unique, so there's never a one solution suits all for the best way to gorgeous hair. That's true. Step three, towel dry and apply. After washing, gently towel dry your hair and apply the shampoo to the top of your head. Running it through to the ends, remember to use the biodegradable gloves provided. They also gave little gloves, which is cool. They're biodegradable, not plastic. That's awesome. Once you've left it in for the desired time, see step four, simply rinse with warm water, result. Okay, so here's how long we should leave it in. As a guide to remove brassiness from blonde hair or to lighten silver gray hair, leave in for three to five minutes. This doesn't work initial double your initial leave-in time that should do the trick for shimmering platinum slash silver or ash gray tones leave in for 10 to 20 minutes it says we should start small so let's start simple so i guess three to five minutes step five is condition we recommend you follow up with a bold unique purple conditioner i did not buy the conditioner <laughs> okay but you know what we have our intensive mask so i think that will be fine step six oops gone too far you should now be looking beautiful, bold, and unique, but if you've overdone it, don't panic. What do you mean? What do you mean over, how do I overdo it? Oh, cause you might turn purple. So this is if that happens, just jump back into the shower and keep washing. Okay, this like kind of made me a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. And I wasn't necessarily gonna show you guys every step, but now I'm like, I'll just put on a swimsuit and show you guys every step because apparently this is very complex. And I uh, did not, did not see it being this complex. So we have all these steps, we have gloves, and they also included a little free shampoo ticket. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna, guess I'm gonna put a swimsuit on. This is, a, this is a channel that we are now, you're welcome. Little beauty channel. Um, but I'm sure that you guys actually wanna see this. So I'm gonna go put on a swimsuit. I'm gonna shampoo my hair once and then we will put on this color shampoo. Lord, let my hair not turn purple. I'm sure you won't be able to hear this well because there is a shower on. I am wearing a mermaid bikini top. This is where we're at. I'm just gonna start with my sulfate free ever pure shampoo. Okay, so I shampooed my hair and it is damp. Now I think I'm supposed to towel dry it according to directions. So let's do that. <laughs> I feel like this peach is very Barbie Mermaidia. If you've seen that iconic film. Like I feel like one of those dolls whose hair changes color with different temperatures of water. That's what I feel like this is. So now we're gonna add it to the hair. Here are my gloves. They're the really crappy ones. I hate these. God. Oh my God, it's so purple. Oh, oh. Um, yeah, that, uh, that's a, a purple color. See, now I see how people say they can like dye their hair purple with purple shampoo. Like, I see it. Oh my God, this makes my hair fall out. It shouldn't. <laughs> right? Right? Oh my God, it's a, it's 
literally this is what it looks like look at this this is a huge freaking mess you cannot not do this in the shower and i guess we will just leave this for three to five minutes maybe slightly longer <laughs> i'm starting the timer oh my god okay so it's been six minutes so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna rinse this out and then i guess we'll see kind of what it looks like um from there so let's do it it's looking really purple what's going on I feel like it literally still looks so purple, but I don't really know what it's supposed to look like, to be honest. Um, it feels like it's very kind of like almost silvery, just like not what we were going for. And I'm a little nervous because hair is starting to come off. Ah! Um, I'm going to shampoo it like one more time with my regular shampoo and then I'm going to do the deep conditioner and we'll just be where we're going to be. I don't know what more to say. Aren't you glad I decided to film this insane process? So based on the way that my hair feels, I definitely see how if you use purple shampoo every day, your hair would start to fall out because some of this hair already came off. Um, okay, let's deep condition. So this is what it looks like. So it's like nice and thick, starting at the top and then working my way down. And this stuff you leave on for 10 minutes. So, and thus ends our exciting shower segment. So I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes, then I'll rinse it off and I'll see you guys when I'm spraying the next product in my hair and blow drying it. Okay, we're at this point. I am wearing nice cozy things now. Um, my hair has been up in this towel just for like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes while I was cleaning. That was a huge freaking mess. And the shower curtain falling down, all of these things. So let's see what we look like at this moment here. Okay. I think it does look less yellow. Thank God it's not purple. I literally thought my hair was gonna turn purple in there. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like this looks good. I'm like slightly worried that like, maybe it wasn't long enough or maybe these two colors are gonna look very different, but I don't think we really know until we blow dry it. Now I'm gonna put in this spray that I have, the Intense Therapy from Provana, and just like try to get this on in here. The wet brush, literally the best brush on the planet. Glamorous. Okay, so I'm gonna go blow dry this because you guys don't wanna hear that. And then we will see the final result. And we're very dry now. Um, I'm looking at it and I'm kind of wondering, does this look all that different? <laughs> it does look a little bit less brassy, but it definitely still is not the same tone as the top. It is a lot better. It is a lot better. I think that I would definitely do another round of purple conditioner, like it said in the instructions to just do round two if it's not exactly where you want. Um, however, I am definitely slightly worried about my hair falling out. So I'm not gonna do that <laughs> until next Friday. So maybe I will wait and release this video then so you guys can see the final results. But I think that it definitely did something. Um, the deep conditioner felt really good on my hair, but now it kind of feels super dry again, which I guess is just gonna be like my new reality. So I did this to myself. So I feel like I can't give this purple shampoo like an honest review because I feel like I need to leave it on for longer. Um, and I'm gonna text my friend Carrie and ask how long she leaves it on her hair because technically we left it on for six minutes before I started rinsing it. And then I was really worried about it turning purple. So I like washed it out with shampoo like three times. So maybe I, that, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I was just supposed to rinse it and I was being overly dramatic, but the shower curtain had fallen. A lot of things were happening, so. I feel like I might need to do this one more time in order to be fully happy with the color. I think that it does look, looking at it now in the lights and stuff, I think that it does look more similar tone-wise, but I think it would be really nice if I could go just a bit more of that white blonde with it. So hopefully another attempt with a purple shampoo will get me where I need to go. I think that's it for this video, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Let's film an ending anyways, just in case I... Don't go back and do another round of purple shampoo, but I probably will. Hey guys, this is the update of 
my hair. Um, <laughs> obviously it looks crazy. It was in French braids and then I brushed it out because I wanted to show you what it looks like. And now it looks like this. Dun, 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 dun. Obviously this is not how I would style it. This is just it looking crazy from being French braided and there's so much volume. Um, but I did purple shampoo it again a couple days after and I kind of dyed my hair slightly purple. So as you can see, it is of the purple <laughs> variety on these like in-between parts. <gasps> it's pretty bad. I mean, it's honestly the purple's like kind of cute, but like this as an overall thing that's happening, I'm not about it. So I'm going to end this video here because this journey is i literally i can't even like sit here with this hair because it looks insane right now i'm ending this video here because now i've done it twice the purple shampoo but i think what i really need to do because it just didn't tone the ends again i think it got a little bit better but it still isn't really like my desired shade so i did buy some toner and I am gonna use 20, 20 volume and T14 from Wella. I'm not using T18, Brad Mondo. <laughs> this is gonna be a whole other video, so I'll just post both these videos and you can click on one and then click on the next. So I feel like this purple shampoo situation was not, <laughs> I feel like this was not a good test of that shampoo because I feel like my hair is just like on its own journey. I. I just like didn't want to like over scrub it and I guess I should have scrubbed it more because I turned my hair purple but I didn't leave it on for like any longer I just I truly I should not have put it on my roots at all like I didn't need it this hair was already like a good shade it's really just the ends that needed it see it looks even worse though because it looks crazy right now so I'm not doing it I'm I'm making it look worse than it actually looks but maybe it, then the final <laughs> look will be more satisfactory <laughs> But yes, I just wanted to update you on this situation. So why don't you just go ahead and click on the next video and watch me tone my hair with Wella Toner. And hopefully, hopefully it works. But I want to know, do you guys use purple shampoo? Have you dyed your hair blonde? What has kind of like worked best for you? If you have any advice for me, please go ahead and leave that down below. I'm definitely interested to hear. I love when people leave suggestions for different hair colors and products to use. So I definitely will be doing a bunch of fun hair colors now that I'm blonde. Um, so definitely if there are any colors you want to see as well, put that down below. That is all for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, stay sparkly. Bye-bye.